country have now surpassed automobile deaths. It, it's, um, it's something we have to get a, a handle on for ourselves, for our children, and for our country. Um, very pleased to be joined by all these illustrious people behind me. Um, I'm going to hand things over to uh, Senate President Sweeney. Thank you. I want to thank the mayor for welcoming, uh, welcoming us all here today. And we're here for a reason. We're here to announce that on the 22nd of October, we're going to move to do an override again. When I announced it the other day, I said we weren't going away. Everyone is going to vote on this. No one is going to hide. That day, I said on the floor of the Senate, God forbid if something happens somewhere. And unfortunately, God forbid something's happened twice now. This is, this reasoning, logic, whatever you want to talk about what the Republicans are doing makes zero sense. We shouldn't be worrying about 27 votes. We should be getting 40 votes. This is a common sense measure. When you think about it, the courts are asking you, can you help us make a decision to make sure that someone that has, has a mental health record, has an issue, and wants to be sponged, we need to know more about this individual. And they're saying no. At some point, you got to stand. You got to stand for the people and not for the governor of this state. This is a mental health issue, it's a gun safety issue, and we are not going to walk away from this. My colleagues on the Republican side of the aisle will vote on this, yes or no. There's no hiding from this issue, and if I was them, I would think long and hard, and it should be 40 votes, not worrying about 27. Sponsors say this is the easiest of easy bills, and it was. We got a lot of bipartisan support on it. It was not a peep of, uh, of any kind of concern because it is an excellent and simple bill. Unfortunately, when the governor speaks, the Republicans have jumped in, and I'm actually astounded. In fact, a reporter walked up to me uh, in the hall when we did the last override attempt, and he said to me, I think this is going to be the bill where you're finally able to override because it's such a great bill and it's easy. And, for, and I said to him, I'm not sure. Sure enough, we didn't. I'm hoping this will be the time. It's the right thing to do. Um, the statement that people are making by not voting for it is, first of all, a mistrust of the police. They don't want the police involved in the process, which is in keeping with some of the terrible things that we see in the country today, but we don't expect it to happen with our Republican colleagues. So it's a mistrust of the police and a feeling that um, um, guns, they, they don't want to take any chances that guns might not get into the hands of people who want them. And that's really the meaning of the bill. My name is Andrew Zwicker. I'm a scientist and a teacher at the Princeton University Plasma Physics Laboratory. As a father and as a husband of a school teacher, I stand here horrified by the amount of gun violence not only in our schools, but throughout our communities. Even in New Jersey, where we have some of the toughest gun laws in the country and one of the lowest murder rates, every 19 hours, someone is killed by a gun. This epidemic of gun violence has to stop. How often does a bill this important get passed by both houses of the legislature unanimously? Yet, we see that the Republicans that originally supported this bill refused to stand up to Governor Christie and his presidential ambitions and do the right thing for New Jersey. Too often we are hearing from Republicans, I was for a bill until I was told to be against it. If Senator Bateman in the 16th District does the right, the right thing and support a bill that he originally sponsored, I can tell you that the work here in the 16th is only one third of the way done because my opponents in the assembly also voted to support this bill. And they have never once, never once, voted to override a veto. Just recently, when asked, they refused to commit on whether they would override this bill, the veto on this bill. I am deeply saddened by the recent gun violence all around us, and especially by what is happening in our school campuses today. I am greatly troubled by the shootings in Oregon, Tennessee, South Carolina, Washington, California, Wisconsin, and Arizona. Because all of these shootings have one thing in common. The shooter had 
in mental illness. My name is Maureen Vella. I'm a candidate for assembly in this district. I'm an attorney and a judge, but most importantly, I'm a mom. I have two kids in college right now. I worry about them every day. I think about their safety, and I think about gun safety laws. It's not right that I should be thinking about this all the time. I'm proud that New Jersey does have some of the safest gun laws in the country. Yet I'm saddened that the Republicans here have put politics ahead of common sense and safety gun legislation that would keep the guns out of the hands of the seriously mental ill was not passed. We have, they, they must be afraid to stand up to Chris Christie because I, it doesn't make any other sense why they voted no. We will press our state senators to stand by for gun violence prevention and affirmatively override the governor's political veto of S-2360. After multiple mass shootings on campuses, including through this past weekend, overriding the veto of S-2360 has become a bellwether for what is the right thing to do.